Amy Rose, the uh, pink, not so fast hedgehog of the Sonic series. First appearing as a strictly manga character in a Sonic the Hedgehog manga in 1992, she was soon adapted the following year into a full fledged character in the Sonic franchise, making her game debut in Sonic the Hedgehog CD for the aptly named Sega CD. Strangely, she actually began as much more of a minor character than she is now, and essentially just played a Princess Peach role in the aforementioned game. So, looking at Sonic CD's portrayal of Amy won't do us much good in terms of figuring out what's so special about her. Now, of course, like most other main Sonic characters, Amy's appeared in many games in the franchise with varying amounts of focus being placed on her each time, sometimes appearing as just a side character or actually becoming playable herself, with the most notable examples of the latter being Sonic Adventure 1 as well as Sonic Heroes, though she also plays a pretty big role in Sonic Adventure 2, so I figured it best to primarily focus on those three portrayals of her. So Sonic Boom fans, you're probably gonna be a little disappointed by this video. Anyway, that's probably about as much of a disclaimer as I need to give for this, so without any further holdups, on with the show. And right off the bat, it's worth mentioning that Amy, again like most other Sonic characters, is no stranger to redesigns, having gone over a few throughout the series herself. But as I said before, we're going to be mostly focusing on her portrayal from the GameCube and Dreamcast era games. This design is the most recognizable version of Amy, and it's how she's looked throughout most of the games she's either starred or appeared in. In stark contrast to the wholesome looking Amy from early games that sported a washed out green and orange set of clothing, her redesign starting from Sonic Adventure 1 shows her sporting a much more flashy and revealing outfit. The bright red dress she now wears is reminiscent of 1940s style party dresses, albeit with a much shorter skirt line. And her tall red boots as well as her general color palette lend themselves well to that overall style. In addition to this, she wears a similarly striking red headband as well as two shiny gold ring shaped bracelets on each of her arms. The use of bright colors in her design managed to evoke a fiery bombshell feeling, which exemplifies her happy-go-lucky go-getter attitude. With these few loud colors mostly defining her visually, players know from the get-go that she's the kind of character that lives for fun. But in contrast to how she's visually portrayed, Amy as a person, or uh, hedgehog, isn't entirely how she seems at first glance. On the outside, it's obvious that she's a very lighthearted person, a uh, hedgehog, but that fun-loving attitude doesn't make her a pushover by any standards. She has a strong resolve as well as a heart of gold, or a, a heart of steel in this case I guess, because it's strong. And though Amy may appear a more airheaded and weak counterpart to the other more ostensibly strong characters, her will and great moral compass prove to fuel her efforts in a much stronger way than that of even the obvious hero of the series, Sonic. And besides that, she's actually a very competent fighter too. In Sonic Heroes, she's able to blast through armies of robots just as well as any other character can, so she can keep up with a lot of them in terms of physical abilities. Truly though, it's in her tough will and drive for doing good where Amy really shines. So much so that in Sonic Adventure, her entire story is based around trying to help a single lost bird find its family. It may sound like kind of a dumb premise, but this actually speaks immensely to her will to help others. While many of the other heroes are out saving the world or fighting for somewhat more selfish reasons, Amy at the mere sight of a small creature in Need sets out on a grueling adventure that could possibly endanger her own life, just based on the mere fact that she could possibly make a difference in someone else's life. And even fast forwarding a bit to Sonic Heroes, the main reason she even goes out on an adventure in the first place is to find and save her teammates' lost animal friends. Amy sees her friends in need, and without thinking twice, she sets out on another giant adventure just to help them get their friends back. If that's not selfless, I don't know what is. But by now you probably get the point of what I'm trying to say. Her presence in most of the other games is generally brought on by similar reasons to the previous ones I mentioned. For example, in Shadow the Hedgehog, she goes out looking for her friend who got lost in a haunted castle. Or in Sonic Adventure 2, where she travels all the way to a hostile place called Prison Island in order to help her only love Sonic escape from his captivity. Now obviously I can go on and on listing things off, but I think with what we've looked at here, it should be pretty easy to come to an accurate conclusion on just who Amy is. Amy Rose is a fun-loving girl, or a, a hedgehog, who knows how to have a good time in life. But beyond all that, she's someone who has a strong moral compass, and when pushed to take action, generally by seeing someone innocent being wronged or harmed, she'll do what's necessary to help without any hesitation. She's defined heavily by her will to help others, and it's shown through the type of heroics she pursues that she's able to put her own troubles aside in order to help those people. It's clear that she doesn't just do things out of glory or in hopes that she'll benefit herself in some way, and that just goes to show how selfless and kind-hearted she is. And ultimately, I think that's the lesson to be learned from Amy. She could be out in the spotlight fighting alongside her friends to save the world, and she does from time to time, don't get me wrong, but sometimes saving the world just isn't enough. It's not always just about what you do to help the greater good, but sometimes it's simply just about doing good. Because in the end, all that matters is that you did something good in the first place, however big or small. And I think that's the note I want to end it on today, so thanks for tuning in. Hey you there, thanks for checking out that video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And please leave feedback in the comments if you have any suggestions for future videos. 
other characters that I could cover or just want to tell me that I'm stupid and should die. Also, a little birdie told me to click that subscribe button is something good will happen. I'm not sure what it is though. That's all I have to say though, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.